Links came pre-charged, almost fully charged. 151.3 volts, I better stop charging it now. It's only supposed to be 151.2. This is the Lynx battery charger. It's pretty loud. And here's this gorgeous CNC frame for the seat. Very nice. I love that touch where they went around and beveled it. After it was uh, done, the seat's nice and wide, firm, but not too hard. I think it's going to be nice. Underneath the seat's been milled out to accept the, the brace. That should be very, very, very solid. The only thing is with these... I'm guessing there was no instructions, but it looks like I'm going to have to take one, one side of these off so I can slide it over this bar. And they have a set screw in them right here to lock it to that metal handle. So that's going to be nice. I'm looking forward to that. Heck yeah. So far, everything seems good and tight. Just like you'd expect. I'm going to have to put some air in the tire. This is the street tubeless tire. They say to not to always have uh, more than 35 PSI in the tire. Lots and lots of room up there. I'll stick my whole arm in there. The tire is not as big as it looked to me. On video to other people, it looked like it's as big as your arm, but it's not that big. It's a normal three inch tire. Everything looks good in there. The suspension is, uh, I think it's set up as soft as it can go. I'm not sure about that, but <clears throat> I'm going to have to do some adjustments on my preload and push it down more than an inch. That's without actually standing on it. That's just pushing on it. This does have the 62-pound... Uh, suspension or spring here it is set up in front of the V12 as you can see the difference it's way taller Got the seat put on. Look at that. How it, that shiny silver part of the seat frames the dashboard so nicely. I don't think the seat got enough coverage because I was really interested in it. And all I ever seen was people taking it out of the box and throwing it to the side like it didn't matter. It matters a lot to me. It makes it sit nice and level without the seat. It's angled back a lot on top. I just got them pads lightly stuck on there. I haven't actually taken it out yet. The sun's starting to come up.
Looks like a nice frosty day out there. I'll be trying her out here pretty soon. Well, hello guys. It was freezing out here, but uh, I'm dying to take the wings for a test ride. I have not been on this at all. I couldn't find my tripod. I wanted to try to find my tripod and, uh, you know, get a scene of me trying to mount this thing and see how it goes. Coming from the V12, this is much, much, much taller. So I'm just going to try to free mount it right now for the first time. Let's see how it goes trying to hold a selfie stick. Stood behind the couch, got on here and tried to uh, get my pad set well like them. I'm kind of worried about the brake pads. They're kind of, I like them a little farther back. Whew, first time being on a bigger wheel. I don't know what's going to happen. Hey, no problem. It's nice and frosty out here this morning. It's uh, just below freezing. Well, I think I'll just take it out on the dirt road. That's what I've been dying to have suspension for. I have done nothing to this suspension. Oh yeah. Dude, this is pretty smooth. Pretty easy to ride too. Like I said, first time I've been on it. I was kind of worried. Of course, I got to get used to it. I got to feel my pedals out and feel how big, you know. There's a word for that where you define yourself in space. Wow. This suspension is amazing. I got my, uh, hell yeah, got my pedal hardness on medium on 50%. Got my cable wrapped up a little too tight. Oh wow, this suspension is very helpful. Shit, this is easier than the V12. I was afraid it was gonna be a hard learning curve. It's fucking easy. Oh, pardon my French. If you're in France, that's what we say here in America when we say a cuss word. Pardon my French. Doing 24 right now. No hint of speed wobbles. This wheel is a lot wider than I'm used to. I'm hitting some potholes on purpose, no problem. <sighs> oh hell. That's no problem at 
are all hitting bumps and potholes. real cushy. Like I said, I haven't adjusted it at all, so I'll have to play with that some. Right now, I'm just riding it like it is out of the box. I'm going to hit some pavement up here pretty soon. Twenty-six miles an hour. Mainly, I've been hovering about twenty-five. Trying to get my feet placement. It's actually acting a little different on my V12. I seem to favor my right foot. On this one, I noticed I was leaning my left foot a lot. Whoa! First time on pavement. Smooth. Six. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two point one. Easy greasy. No wobbles at all. Thirty-two again. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Really no wobbles to speak of. problems. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. Something I could go a little faster and be comfortable. I really have to push that V12 to get around 30. I mean, kind of. Compared to this, we seem to just be cruising right along at 30. Trying to get used to the width of the wheels, a little different. A little bit wider. Thirty-five, no problem. Thirty-five hitting bumps. Kind of 
still kind of nervous. I keep it waiting on the wobbles. I ain't getting any. This is smooth, baby. That's not really a rough hot or a smooth highway right there. It's pretty rough. Going against the wind now, but I'm still doing 35. toe toe pads so there's a trip around the block that's pretty awesome good grief effortless going up bumps and hills and potholes oh yeah this is a real machine. I love it. That's all for now, guys. Thank you. Catch you soon.